All right, you maggots, listen up. All right, this is my fourth attempt on this video. My camera went out of focus several times. I'm going out of my mind here. All right, now, I, I can tell you right now that the, uh, the mica capacitors that are inside the IF cans are bad. There's four of them. There's one here. There's one in each corner of this unit. One down here. Oh, this camera's making me nuts. One down this corner, up here, each four, all four corners. Now, there's a, a cutout in the chassis, and it leaves a tang, and it, that tang gets bent in on those capacitors to hold them in position. Now, to get the top off this IF can, there's a bolt on this side and that side, and then there's two studs on the bottom that have nuts. You have to remove them. And then when you go to pull the can off, the top off, you're going to get the surprise of your life. I don't care how much force you apply. If you had happened to, if what happens to you, what what happened to me happens to you. Uh, there's fish paper uh, between this unit and the uh, the metal can, and it's waxy. And what happens over a period of time, the wax gets hot, and it adheres to the side of the IF can or the, the insides and then they, it fuses to the can itself so when you go to pull the top off you can't get up. Now what I did was I have um, a hot air station for moving uh, surface mounts. You might be able to use a hair dryer. You have to heat up the two sides of the IF can and then uh, take the can and you rink it back and forth gently caddy corner uh, or twist it back and forth. You don't push it to the right and left. You, you do a, uh, a 360 motion on the can and you'll hear cracking noise and then lift up or slowly work your way off. Try to keep it um, mildly warm so the wax stays almost solidified and you can get the top off. So and then the other thing too is these capacitors are mica and watch out each IF can uh, all, f all three IF cans don't have the same values. Like IF can 1, the, the input capacitor is different than the output capacitor. So when you order your capacitors, make sure you pay very close attention. But I just wanted to show you this because I'm looking at the other videos and I know these people haven't, re they haven't recapped the entire radio. They get it working, they do a video, and then you come along and you buy one, like I did, and you realize the FM don't work or parts of the AM don't work and you start finding capacitors that are bad and if you go into groups they'll tell you oh I, I wouldn't do mine I didn't have any problem with the IF can uh, capacitors person never opened up I know he never opened up because he never mentioned how hard it is to get the lid off the IF cans see I learned a long time ago about how much people bullshit and they lie and how stupid they really are and I get People going, you shouldn't say that. You sound like a drill sergeant. They go off on me, but I'm telling you the honest truth. These capacitors are mica. Uh, they're 75 years old. Uh, inside the uh, the silver on the between uh, on the plates, which is between the, uh, on the outsides of the mica, uh, they uh, they turn jet black because it's silver or silver plating, and then the black soot that forms on silver is an oxide. It slowly works its way down to the edges and it shorts the capacitor out. And when the capacitor gets shorted out, you lose sensitivity on the radio or it may just stop uh, stop working. But I just wanted to tell you, you know, four bolts, there's a bolt on each side and then two stud on the bottom. So it's four, four uh, fasteners, we should say. And uh, the ones I have on this radio, uh, it looks like Hellcraft have used what they, they had. They used the... Uh, sheet metal screw type ones, the little ones with the four, a quarter twenty, a quarter inch head on them. But I just want to show you what you're going to run up against. And what I did was to test this first capacitor. First one was bad. I heat up with the solder arm and then you, you get behind there with tweezers and you, you just you just rotate or apply pressure. And the wire, which has loops in it, there's two wires here. One's very sensitive are very easy to break. It goes down to the IF can. Uh, yeah, to the IF can. The other one goes down to the bottom. 
and there are little loops on them. They've been wrapped around this, the post of the capacitor. And you want to, what I, what I do is um, I suck the solder off this connection, and then I put a pin through it, um, a, a tapered pin. And I heat it up, I push it onto the tapered pin. And then I put the same loops back over the new capacitor. I don't go try and undo those loops and straighten them out. It'll fall apart, it'll break. you got to be very gentle. I think I covered as much as I can. Uh, a lot of you should not open this DIF can up. You're not going to have the, the dexterity. You're not going to have the brain power. And uh, do you have a tester, a cap checker? Now, my cap checker I showed you, the one with the, the neon light, that checks the capacitor at the voltage it's going to be used at in the radio. We're testing it over 120 volts. And the reason you're doing that is that's when they become leaky, when they're in an the actual circuit. I know there's a set of plans out there for one that uses 30 volts, but that, that's bullshit. Let me tell you right now, the cap don't start going bad until a higher voltage. If you have a, a cap checker with the magic eye, that one there applies the correct amount of voltage, and you can adjust it to the voltage of what it's going to be used in in the circuit, and it'll let you know if it's, it fails. You don't get a, you don't get a good uh, uh, display on the magic eye. I just have to, I, I think I covered everything on this. You know, I can't, I can't remember this. The fourth time I did this video, because at some point the camera decided to go out of focus on me. Now I can back the camera up. I want to show you something. Now that we're, we don't really care that much about focus. I'm going to let you look down into the IF can. This is the IF can can. All right, now let me get the let me get the camera aimed at it and down in there. See that waxed paper? Uh, I also learned something else. That's going to be stuck to this unit, and that's why I had to use heat. I use gentle heat, and then uh, I rocked it this way. I did like a twisting motion. I brought it up, and it came right off. And uh, that's what you're going to go through. You know, those other, other people, yeah, I took the IF can spark. They don't tell you anything, right? I'm, I'm telling you right now, be very gentle inside that IF can. I think that's it. All right, that's finally it. Oh.